are a couple of the influential, notable entrepreneurs or companies who are having the most impact on the knowledge economy? Yeah, well, I, you know, and I already mentioned on the social side, Wendy Kopp, who, I, you know, is a total hero. I do think on the company side, I think um, Saul Khan, again, it, obviously it's a not-for-profit, but um, so it's not a commercial enterprise, but, you know, gosh, what he's done in terms of, you know, frankly, um, it, you know, it feels like a, this is ancient history, but just the, the, what he was able to do in terms of making educators comfortable going online to find resources that might back them up, you know, not to mention what, you know, to give students additional um, resources to, you know, support themselves. I think, you know, he really broke a wall that, um, that had been built a long time ago and, and, um, and gave incredible access to some really great resources. I don't know, I mean, I, you know, I love doing his, his, um, his lessons. Um, so I think he's just a real hero around that. I, I already talked about Code.org, but I think Hadi Partovi and Code.org has been great. Um, I think Linda Weinman and, and her husband Bruce, who founded Linda.com in their garage or whatever many years ago, um, and, and quietly built the company with no outside capital wow, into wow. this absolute powerhouse of an online learning delivery platform. Obviously, selling to LinkedIn, um, you know, a month or two ago um, for you know for a very large and impressive uh, value. Um, it, you know, she's she's been a she and Bruce have been um, just you know models for so many in the industry, including me. Um, and it was just it was great to see you know two uh, wonderful, humble, passionate people around mission, um, you know, build a great business that actually scaled. Because because uh, you know many of us have sort of lived through long periods where there was just enormous skepticism around the ability to scale companies in um, in the education markets, but. You know, I think Coursera, I think, is, is, is a remarkable company um, founded by, you know, two Stanford professors, um, Daphne Kohler and Andrew Ng, and then now run by the former um, president of Yale, Rick Levin. Uh, he's got an incredible team, 13 million learners on their system. Um, you know, their early growth was faster than the growth of Facebook um, in terms of users. And so I, I think there's some revolutionary things, you know, and, and I personally, there's a lot of back and forth on the MOOC market. I think the MOOCs are very much in the early innings. I think there is going to be a lot of success coming out of those models, you know, over the long run. And it was just such a radical thing when it when it came out of the box. But again, both, yeah, I mean, both with Coursera and edX, um, which is a not for profit, you know, the uh, not for profit version is um, although requires you know philanthropic you know, substantial philanthropic funding. It you know both of those guys broke so many barriers. You know, it it basically. With, when those two launched and, and were able to announce so many university partners so quickly, it effectively eliminated the, you know, the barrier to any discussion of online learning at the higher education level. So it really was no longer a question of walking in and saying, well, will you ever do online learning? Um, it, you know, it now has become, you know, well, would I do it here? Would I do it here? Will I do it myself? Will I do it in partnership with a company like 2U, which has been a great success um, as a public company, um, which, you know, who works with, with uh, premier universities like USC and Chapel Hill and others. So, you know, I think that there are a lot of people um, creating incredible footprints. Uh, and I do, and I sort of said it earlier, but I think a lot of, you know, a lot of credit has to go to the people who have been working to, to eliminate impediments. And, um, and I do think there's been a lot of great work out of the Department of Education. A dear friend of ours, Jim Sheldon, worked on a lot of the, the innovation grants, and I think a lot of the, the, the grants that the DOE used to give you know, strong incentives to, to you know, states and districts and others to, to think about innovation were, um, were extremely, had incredibly powerful impact. So, um, you know, I think it's, it's been, a, it's been a, um, uh, an embarrassment of riches um, from, from, a, from a sector that, that had not had, that had really not historically seen that. So um, it's been a, you know, it's been really a great, um, certainly a great five, seven year, you know, period here in the, in, in you know, the innovation markets for education.